Good morning, another beautiful day in God's kingdom. Today we're taking a look at um, one of the Psalms and we're looking at Psalm 15 today. Let's take a look and see what it says from the very first verse. And this is what it says. Who may worship in your sanctuary, Lord? Who may enter your presence on your holy hill? Those who lead blameless lives and do what is right, speaking the truth from sincere hearts. Those who refuse to gossip or harm their neighbors or speak evil of their friends. Those who despise flagrant sinners and honor the faithful followers of the Lord and keep their promises even when it hurts. Those who lend money without charging interest and who cannot be bribed to lie about the innocent. Such people will stand firm forever. You know, and when you read through this, it almost reads like a checklist, doesn't it? Of things that are needed if you want to be in God's, you know, holy presence, if you want to dwell in his sanctuary, if you want to get into his holy hill, you know, and that is what it reads like. And depending on you, uh, depending on what time of day it is, if you're like me or what day it is, you know, of the week, you might look at it and be like, yep, that's fine. I'm covered. I look at the first one. Yep, that's me. You know, I tick that box. And then you suddenly find out on the, maybe the third one or the fourth or whatever it is, you fall flat on your face. And you're like, ah, oh, God, I still need help here because I need you to, you know, to help me to, to, to overcome this in my life. And that is really important for us to understand as children of God, that no matter how good you think you are, no matter how righteous you think you are, there's always room for improvement in your life. And that is where the Holy Spirit comes in. He comes in to point out those areas to us. He comes in to show us that we need the help of God and we need to be humble enough to come before God and to say, God, you know what? That is me. I need help. I need you to strengthen than me. I need you to help me overcome this area in my life, this area of struggle in my life. So I want to pray with you and encourage you today that the Lord will help you, that you'll be humble enough to allow the Holy Spirit to have his way in your life, that you allow the Holy Spirit to do what only he can do. He points out this, the, the, the errors in your life. He points out the shortcomings that you have, and he's willing to help you to overcome them. So I pray that the Lord will help you today. God bless you. Have a beautiful day.